Hello my friend and welcome to Pistol Fest. Someone had this brilliant idea long time ago. I am coming back to that. So we are having the sergeant, the surgeon, the colonel, obviously the riot, right? It doesn't really have a normal pistol, but it kind of works as a pistol. Paratroopers as well, they are perfect for this, they are having pistols. So yeah, someone had this idea long time ago. And if you are watching, please let me know in the comments. I want to say thank you because it's a brilliant idea. I lost my list with the names and the fests. I, I will find it somewhere, but uh, I don't have it at the moment. So I don't know who said it. Anyway, brilliant, brilliant uh, idea. So you could see we have some good units there. Really good, but they work <laughs> well with other units on their own. They are not as good. So we see how it goes. Anyway, we start with one white. As you know, we start from the beginning. We try to get some veterans, which is quite hard on one white skull. But the difference now is that we have um, the, the sergeant with us, which will uh, increase the damage and the accuracy. So you will see a massive difference on getting veterans. So if you are looking looking to get veterans and you have the sergeant and you want an easier fight than uh, than a free red skull uh, go on uh, one one white and nicely add the sergeant to your team and you'll see a difference most of the units are getting to rank one veterans even on one white so that's that's why I normally start uh, on one white. I'm trying to get used to the units and have some fun. Well, that being said, let's do this. My um, controller decided to go that way. Doesn't really matter. We have one barrel left. Let's start spawning some nice, nice, nice units. So I feel kind of confident. I'm not sure about the nightmares. Uh, it will be quite complicated to be honest with you. But we do have the paratroopers with us, we have uh, damage boost, accuracy, I don't know, reviving, focus fire and a shield. So we, I must say we are kind of really protected, but um, we don't have as much power as uh, we used to. So we need new tactics, we need something new. Anyway, let's have fun here, that's the main thing, and I'm ready for this. Um, see, th that's what I meant by uh, not enough power, you see how long it takes to just uh, get down, I don't know, 4 units? It's, it's, it is about accuracy, I think the kernels are, are having a really high damage, but uh, it's the accuracy that is the problem. Anyway. I think we will struggle a little bit, but that's a challenge, so that being said, challenge accepted. You could see I already have loads of uh, units, rank 1 veterans, which is impressive. I have a rank 2 as well, you can see there. It is really impressive, it is fast, it is um, interesting. It wasn't that easy before on 1 white, if you tried yourself, you will know. Uh, you probably get one veteran if not even one so uh, really good unit bear in mind use it when you need it the sergeant I don't really have anything else to say about the colonel I don't really like the unit I think uh, it's not as good but we see how it goes anyway first fight not too bad we did get loads of veterans I think I had some before kind of the same uh, units hmm doesn't really matter oh a rank free veteran I actually saw it at the end oh, look at that one one white that's impressive that is impressive we have some boosts there I got it from uh, a mission which it will give me quite uh, quite good uh, munition let's see what we can change I might... no, I will leave the, the kernels. I'm not sure if that uh, that glitch is uh, it's uh, fixed. Anyway, campaign complete! Let's see what we get here. Uh, one Valor, double munition for one match, <laughs> not too bad. I accept that. Let's pick another fight. We are going to two white now. 
so we are increasing the the difficulty you know by now if you watch any of my other first loads of them it's my favorite thing so oh we are really low on uh, cards and i don't really want to buy the packs anyway uh, let's use the focus fire now i'm going to take one paratroopers as well with uh, with me and the next battle to make it more challenging we are going to get only paratroopers no focus fire uh, i assume i'll have uh, almost all of them rank free veterans if this base is uh, successful <laughs> but uh, I feel confident, I think we can do it without focus fire, if we don't, that's the end of it, doesn't matter. Uh, we have to learn how to play without focus fire. Mainly now, this is the moment because we are using the kernel, we have loads of kernels, we will have loads of kernels, so they should do the trick. I'm not sure about that, we see how it goes. Ah, oh, barrels, barrels, barrels. This is the most annoying thing you have to wait for the barrels to be gone i do have the bombing run i know but i want to see what units are coming out uh it seems like nothing is coming so let's let's, let's just use the bombing run why not uh it's kind of the same thing anyway but uh yeah 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 nothing is coming nothing is coming we have a mortar that is constantly shooting that mortar at some point would uh, easily get rid of my uh, units <laughs> you'll see uh now I, I could see the commandos so that's the command card that shows me it's quite a long base i've been waiting for quite a while to see the unit so loads of um, loads of tricks there anyway another barrel gone fair enough i'm really happy with that let's 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 spawn as many as we can i assume we do have quite a few barrels i have an idea probably it won't work i don't have really strong units against walls but uh, you have to try it <laughs> that's how it is you have to try it so let's see how it goes ah come on i just need that barrel to be gone just one barrel that one come on spread the bullets you can do it commandos spread those bullets yes thank you such a nice unit you are and i like the hats i think they look funny with the hats hmm. bear in mind i have i need that hat on my commandos um that being said we are going to try to get in this sneaky way where the um, where the walls are normally if i had the commandos at least the commandos i'm not talking about any other units i would easily get through those walls let's see how uh, those units are doing we do have veterans they are quite strong so hopefully hopefully oh come on quick 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 spawn as many as we can it's another problem and it is quite a massive problem the fact that uh, the cooldown it's um, massive it takes forever uh, to, to spawn those units so um, you can see I, I was able to spawn six units so far so <laughs> um, yeah I should have get loads of uh, rally flags though well my mistake there and they are not shooting no oh you need something with long range so they can shoot it's not happening oh well thank you it's a little bit too late now Anyway, um, let's try our best to get in the way this uh, this guy wants us. The main enemy there would be the barrel, so let's try to use one decoy to kind of avoid the barrels. Won't happen, you will see the barrels exploding one by one pretty soon, because uh, it's my luck. I still feel confident the units are there, doesn't matter if they're poisoned, as long as they do their job. Come on, shoot, 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 no, don't. Yes, bunker down, no. <sighs> anyway, another decoy, please don't explode. No, oh, it did explode. Well, you see, that's why you need grunts, that's why sometimes this game is a waiting game. You wait enough to, to explode all the barrels. And then we kind of have an easy... Oh, that's bad. That's, 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 that's pretty bad. 
Ah, uh, that is bad. I don't have enough. I don't have decoys at all. Oh, 21 units. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Nice, 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 and nice. Come on, take that bunker down. I really hate when they, they all face the bunker and they are not really able to touch it. Or if they do, it's really, really low damage. Anyway, doesn't matter. We did our job step by step. That's my plan. Ah, oh, they start shooting now. That's bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No iron lines. That will give me probably enough time to place. Come on, get that AA, quick, quick, quick. It's all about rushing here. You see, I have plenty munition. What I don't have here is, <laughs> is units to spawn. So uh, this is kind of a weird situation. Normally you don't have munition and you have loads of units waiting to be spawned. That doesn't happen this time because it's a fest. What did you expect? Loads of AAs, this is struggle. Oh, the nice tear gas, the really nice tear gas will help me, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Colonel, I need a Colonel to, mm. I don't know why I place the, don't ask me, don't ask me, just don't ask me, For, forget about it, I don't know why I place the, the tear gas in that corner instead of the middle, I, I, I just thought it's, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, we are going to win, we manage this, no, you didn't really expect it, didn't you? <laughs> but uh, yeah, never give up. I I always try until the end on all my fights. And as um, as I always said, you have a good chance. You have I don't know more than eighty percent of the times I did manage to win, even with one star. But a win, it's a win. Ooh, victory! We did this. Oh, this is a quite hard fest. Let's see what we get. Let's see what veteran. Okay, okay, exactly 10 veterans. We have two max. We do get loads of munition, which is quite fine. And let's move to the next fight. Right, guys, this is the challenge of the challenges. We have kind of weak units. So they are not good together. They are not good at all, if you want, most of them. But the biggest challenge is that... We are going to not use focus fire at all, we use paratroopers instead, which it will be quite pointless, depends on the base, depends how lucky we are, if it, it is a base that um, paratroopers will work perfectly on it, then lucky us, we move forward, we try to complete the fest, if it's not, that will be the end of the video, which I don't want, I need to win this, it will be quite an achievement for me if you want, um, to win with on a fest with... Uh, not impressive units uh, in the attack side if you want and no focus fire at all so nightmare no focus fire this is a small base i don't like this uh mainly mainly when the small bases are like that they kind of are uh, they kind of are bombardier bases but uh i assume this is not one of them we have a sneaky sneaky uh, explosive barrel, they're pretty nice, I like the pumpkins and the barrel, they're quite straight, this is a nice idea, and then we'll have loads 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 of other barrels, walls everywhere, mm. this is not that good. Ah. So basically what, do, what we have to do here is kind of, okay we get one focus fire, yes, 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 yes. Now uh, the question is, will my units go there? Because normally they they do a, a wrong uh, movement and they go in the middle and just sit there. If I use the rally flag, well, this is to be seen. We see how it goes. Anyway, I hope uh, they do because that will give me a proper proper chance of winning, and I do really want to win. To be honest with you. Um, this is quite sneaky, loads, loads of barrels, and uh, I will, and I probably would, do, well, I, I, I will do it. Um, I'll leave the barrels there, I'll try to get rid of two of them. Hmm. Let's see which ones, okay, 
I'm going to get uh, rid of the the two of them at the end there so I'm going to use the rally flag if the game works properly how it should work all my units should go there all my veterans all my uh, my nice uh, units spawned already and I would be able to quickly get rid of the walls there are just a few I need to get rid of those there nicely so even if my units are going to get poisoned, as I said, I don't care. That will give me a proper chance to 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 access that bunker, which it will be the the nightmare there, and then obviously focus on the snipers, which there are not many. We see how it goes. Anyway, let's start spawning uh, as many units as we can. Those there, they they will be dead by the time I'm kind of finishing with what I have here. I reckon I have enough units to to get through those walls. Let's see if I'm right or not. I'm going to place the rally flag there. Let's see where my units are going. Exactly how I thought, which I don't understand why. Um, ah, why? And they are, they, they are going to explode there. The barrels are going to explode and all my units are going to be dead. They don't have enough power here to to destroy the walls. I just have a, a handful of units. The two of them. Well, half of them. <laughs> it's actually embarrassing. Half of them, uh, they are uh, riots. No way in hell that I'm going to, uh, to get through those walls. So, we have to rethink everything. Hopefully, hopefully they won't have iron lungs. Anyway. We place the paratroopers there, they are going to get rid of that bunker, which is one of the best things that could happen. What I don't like there is uh, that... Ah, uh, this will be a... This will be an annoying uh, battle. When... When... And when the... The riots are going to come closer... I, I won't... I literally won't have enough power to, to get through their shields and in the meanwhile the snipers will just have fun with my units uh, this is the best way to place your uh, well this is the best base and the best situation to have riots as command cards they are doing a brilliant job there well fair play to the guy as I said I, I am playing this game when I said it. I play to enjoy it and uh, when something works well for someone else I am not really really upset with that now, you can see, I um, I asked myself uh, quite a few times, why would you put the riots on a base? But this base, it's the perfect size for uh, for those free riots there. Because they, they are going to get triggered when you, you are in the kind of main choke point. And they will come and uh, they, they will do quite a good job. We all know how good the riots are. They can really hold some bullets, even with loads of uh, good units. They can hold it for a few seconds. That's like enough for the... That is more than enough for the, the snipers to shoot quite a few times. By shooting, they, they, they will at least get rid of your uh, riots. That being said, you'll be against few... I don't know. Quite, quite a few snipers without riots to protect your units. This is not bad, I do have a chance and uh, I'm going to place uh, that uh, decoy there because I kind of expected the... I kind of expected the tents to be spawning more, so... Uh, we see how it goes, we see how it goes. I don't think I will be able to win this one, it's, it is complicated, but at least we have something to learn from it. You could see if you have a small base like that, you could... Yeah, and obviously if you, if you have the HQ cards, add those uh, those riots because they kind of stopped me from winning. Well, they they, they did it for for real. So um, brilliant base, brilliant small base is my type of base, if you ask me. Um, I do have something like this on my small account. Well, way simple and uh, simple and uh, but yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. All the snipers, the snipers actually are everywhere. I just placed that uh, that focus fire there to show you how how weak the units, how small or how low the damage on those units is. Uh, amazing, isn't it? They didn't really 
touch the AAs. Well guys, that's everything for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you can, please share with your friends. It does help and I do really appreciate it. Well guys, don't forget to subscribe as well. Turn the notification on. You will know when I upload next. Guys, I hope you are having a great, great, great day. And as always, thanks for watching and so long my friends.